The old days of gaming are well behind us, and so are the technologies. Today, the gaming world is blessed with beautiful, hyper-realistic sunsets and city skylines that look like they were taken straight from a movie. User experiences that are dynamic yet smooth and polished. Digital avatars that can naturally interact with and learn from their environment. Maps that can be super scaled with virtually no sacrifices to visual performance or cost. However, it certainly wasn't always like this. Digitally replicating the way light shines off certain objects and casts shadows in the backdrop of a scene has always been especially challenging in the world of computer graphics. Very time consuming and very expensive. However, with NVIDIA's advancements and partnerships with other industry leaders in the computer graphics space, video game graphics design and development has been changed for good. Real-time ray tracing has brought new life to the video game industry and countless other applications like virtual productions on TV, interactive virtual reality experiences, and realistic digital humans and animations. And although real-time ray tracing now plays such a crucial role in all of these applications and industries, and is available to each and every one of us in the form of NVIDIA's relatively affordable RTX collection, it's important to realize this was just a dream for a distant world not too long ago. Instantaneous, real-time 3D rendering with advanced depth and shadow simulation. From first-person shooters, to platformers and puzzles, to simulators, to Minecraft, the impact is felt everywhere you look. And while the hardware and server infrastructure is now in place for virtually limitless potential in the computer graphics space thanks to NVIDIA's innovations, there needs to be someone actually taking advantage of it. We need developers. And although solo creators and small groups are utilizing these infrastructures for video game development on their own platforms, NVIDIA's partnership with Unreal Engine is really pushing the boundaries of video game design for good. For context, and for those of you that don't already know, Unreal Engine 5 is one of the most reputable and high-performance game engines on the market today. Many of today's hottest games were developed using Unreal Engine, claiming themselves as the world's most open and advanced real-time 3D creation tool. And that claim certainly isn't too far-fetched either, as they are backed by many key NVIDIA RTX technologies. Now, I won't get too involved in each of these technologies, but they are all profound in their own rights. And if this is something you'd like to see in a bit more detail, please let me know in the comments, and I'd love to dive a little bit deeper. DLSS is a neural graphics technology that uses AI to create image reconstructions of frames which allow for higher resolution and responsiveness. The AI network is able to analyze the motion over multiple frames and produce additional high quality images in between those frames to provide better performance. In simple terms, think the more frames that can be processed per second, the smoother the gameplay. So the more frames that AI can accurately predict, the better. The main concern with this technology is the quality could be compromised if the AI generates a low quality or a faulty image. However, this is not an issue, as the AI models that are powering DLSS are continuously improving and training on NVIDIA's supercomputers, so the quality will only continue to get better. RTX DI, or Direct Illumination for short, allows for unlimited shadow casting and dynamic lights in real time without any performance or resource constraints. Imagine adding millions of dynamic lights to your game environment without degrading the quality of user experience. Geometry of any shape can emit light, cast accurate shadows, and move dynamically. This is a significant step up from when ray tracing was in its early stages. Spheres were the only 3D shape that could be reasonably rendered with ray tracing as they were super simple to define mathematically. Super simple. So we can easily calculate L, which is just the vector between the ray's origin and the sphere's center. We have yet to learn about T subscript A, but we can use the dot product and Pythagorean's theorem to solve this problem. No, no, we are not going over this. There have been many NVIDIA developers that have dealt with this problem already. So DLSS reconstructs frames to increase performance, or the frame rate. RTX DI allows for limitless shadow casting and dynamic lights to improve game quality and feel. Next up is RTX GI, or Global Illumination. 
RTX GI provides scalable solutions to compute indirect lighting without the typical large costs and waiting times. It serves as a good starting point to utilize ray tracing on a large scale without knowing some of the more advanced tools and capabilities. Global illumination also solves one of the biggest issues when it comes to accurate lighting in video games. In the past, light levels were pre-calculated offline and sampled during runtime while the user is playing. However, with GI, light levels are calculated in real time to avoid any light or shadow leaking through doors and walls. This is quite a complex problem, but GI provides an extremely simplified solution allowing for more accurate lighting and shadows in real time. We know that shadow and lighting are incredibly important to enhance the user's experience, but a gamer's nightmare doesn't lie in the graphics or the light leaking. Clunky movement, low FPS, and packet loss can flat out ruin a gamer's day. And Nvidia's Reflex might be one of the most important RTX technologies when it comes to just that, the user experience. NVIDIA Reflex is a tool that can be toggled on and off in some of the world's top games. It is designed to maximize responsiveness or on the flip side reduce latency during GPU intensive scenes. Think of latency as the time it takes for your click to register in the video game. However, there isn't just latency between your click and the game updating. You see, there is latency between your mouse and the game engine, the game and the GPU, the GPU and pixel response. There are many stages that need to happen between when you click and when the pixels respond on your screen. So to monitor this long string of latency, NVIDIA has created the Reflex Latency Analyzer, which is a revolutionary technology for the future of gaming. This technology allows gamers to measure the end-to-end -end, or the entire latency experience from mouse click to final pixel response. After measuring each stage of latency, tech-savvy gamers can purchase additional hardware and manipulate system settings to drive down latency and achieve maximum system performance. There is a lot of other cool features with this tech, but this is about as far as we go for this video's purposes. So far, all of these RTX technologies have been related to visual effects or performance improvement. So let's mix it up and introduce one of NVIDIA's most anticipated technologies, ACE, or Avatar Cloud Engine. ACE is specifically used to create interactive and authentic digital characters. This engine uses RTX technologies and AI foundation models Nemo, Riva, and audio to face for AI-powered speech, conversation, and animation. Nemo enables specific character backstories and personalities that fit within the game world. Riva provides automatic speech recognition and text-to-speech capabilities to enable live speech conversation with Nemo. And audio to face does exactly what it sounds like. It creates expressive facial animation for game characters from solely an audio source. The digital character can then be brought to life in the Unreal game engine. Combine cinematic masterpieces with lively and animated characters, with dynamic shading and lighting, and you have yourself quite the gaming experience. Unreal Engine has many other features that build upon NVIDIA's RTX technologies and Avatar Cloud Engine. Again, let me know if that's something that you'd like to explore. And if you've made it this far, please comment down below, let me know how I'm doing, and subscribe if the content is any good. Or don't. Unreal is leading the charge alongside NVIDIA in reinventing the gaming industry. But last and certainly not least, this all wouldn't be possible without NVIDIA's Omniverse Connector. Omniverse enables developers to actually utilize all of these AI and RTX technologies, or even build custom ones to streamline, accelerate, and enhance their own development workflows. With the power of NVIDIA's RTX technologies combined with one of the world's most advanced gaming engines, plus partnerships with other AI-powered businesses, the gaming industry has been revolutionized and video game development looks entirely different for the foreseeable future. And while the power-hungry nature of realistic lighting and shading used to deter video game developers from creating these beautiful scenes and stunning visual effects, the performance and cost is no longer the problem. It seems the limitations of future video game design now mirror the limitations of creativity and effort by the developers. 
The tech is all there, and it's just a matter of putting it to use. And although we have primarily discussed the impact of these AI technologies, more specifically on the gaming industry, it would be both remiss and downright foolish of me not to mention its vast impact on the overall world economy. Industries far and wide are impacted in ways that could simply not be imagined before. And that's why I put together this video outlining all of the biggest AI breakthroughs that will leave a footprint on the world's technologies forever. I look forward to watching the world's continuous technological development alongside you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace!